Okay, I did not realize it was as heavy as it is. We better start getting some things ready. It rained. Yes. You might say why. Depending on the job you're at, you might say, who would ever want rain when we can have sunshine like that, what we've had for the last three weeks. You're not a farmer if, if, if that's the case because we rely so heavily on, on weather and normally we're giving out a bit of rain but by god uh, we needed it we needed it badly today it's very very cold but yesterday even was warm it was just lovely you could actually smell the grass growing but we were so glad to see it rain what are we at today also i see the swallows are back i don't know if you pass your marks on them but they're back i see that once you see the swallows come that time of year is there I don't mind swallows, I actually like watching them flying about, but as long as they stay away from my house and don't plaster it in muck, because they can be one dirty nuisance when they start that. It's not actually building a nest at all, just sticking muck to the pebble dash of our house, all over the house. Um, just rotten dirty. But uh, I don't know why they do it, what the idea of it is, whether they're training their young how to build nests or whatever. But yeah, I hope they don't do that the year. Uh, last year they didn't do it the year before, they just destroyed the place. But, uh, We'll see them back. It's nice to see them back. Today's task. We're going to move this big pile of muck into the trailer. The trailer's on here behind the wall. And get it dumped out of the way for the time being. We'll put it up in a quarry up above. Um, top of one of our hills. And then we wait to let it just rot away. And we spread it. If we're ploughing ground or something like that. We'll, we'll spread it underneath when it's rotted out completely. So we just want to get the pit all cleaned out. The covers over there at the weekend. That we're going to actually uh, probably fold out. Um, if it's not windy, of course, um, if it's not windy, we'll fold them out. Take them, we do normally drag them out into the field um, and then we'll just fold them all out. There's four covers there, fold them all out and see which is the good covers, which is the bad ones. And we'll always probably keep three, get rid of the other one and buy a new cover or maybe buy two new covers, depending on the condition of, of them covers, but they should be fine. We haven't pierced them in any way, so I imagine that they'll be grand. And we're going to get the pit ready then, get the machinery out of it um, in the next few days. And we're going to get it washed for silage. Can you believe it? Silage? It's coming. I was hoping to get the drone up. I'm hoping I still will be able to. Because it has been raining, it's just stopped raining there about five minutes ago. It's quite windy. You might not be able to pick that up on the camera, but it is. Because the walls around us is kind of sheltering us, but it is quite windy. So, um, hmm. I'm thinking about that one. Hopefully I'll get it up. Because I'd like to get more footage with the drone. Um, of the job being done. It just gives you a better idea of what's taking place. But look at, let's get this trailer on. Let's get it tipped off here. I do have to fill this with the shear grab. So I don't use the case. Just before anyone's asked, I don't use the case to draw the silage up the hill with the trailer and fill it with the Massey because the ground is wet now. Not wet. The ground has got the surface of it wet and underneath is very hard and where i'm going is really steep and the case just wouldn't have the grip to pull the trailer up when it's heavy i have a few hours to do it i'm not in any rush i'll get it done and um, the case can't walk the shear grab either because it only has two spool valves and the shear grab needs three so it's part of the reason it just there's little nibbly things like that that they can't do and that's why i was talking about a different tractor down the leg but look at it's all right we're not worried too much about that now
So that's the trailer filled. We just tidied up a little bit that fell around the back and, and sides of it. And uh, got a nice load on there now. I know a lot of these probably say, God, front loader would help you so much. Yes, it would, absolutely. But it's not here at the moment. So we'll make do with what we got. I don't have to do this job very often. Um, and uh, it only takes me a couple of hours to get rid of it all. And it's done. So we have a nice chunk gone over there. I'd say another trailer and a half will take the whole thing. Maybe two trailers take the whole thing. I'll have it all done in two hours. Um, take my time, no big panic. So I'll get this back on the tractor now and get it tipped and get ready for another one. I'm just after setting back up here for milking so I have the, me lines, me fences and things back up and me gates in front of it. But yesterday, that video clip you were watching there of throwing footage of me filling the trailer that was taken yesterday. Um, we still have a wee bit of stuff there left yet. But um, we have bits and pieces. We're going to sweep all this out now tomorrow. And then I'll... Um, Take out all the machinery out of it as well. Take away the machinery from above. We're pushing the silage back towards us here. Um, so uh, you can tip a lot of loads into that silage bit before you need any man to even touch it with a rake or um, to, with a buck rake to put it up. But um, yeah, it's a very impressive outfit to be coming. It's definitely a video to watch. I will be covering as much of it as possible. I might even do a live feed just depends we see what way it's set up but i'll set a gopro up here on the pit work and then i'll get a drone up and um, to video the lads lifting i can actually hear them in the background working on a neighbor's farm and we might do a time lapse if it's been covered as well because covering's a dirty time consuming job but there'll be plenty of us plenty of hands and uh we we get it done um so yeah the covers will be folded out as well probably towards the weekend i come in with the slurry tank and i just reverse the back wall and i just wet the whole thing down and then I'll power wash down any of the owl algae that's kind of growing on the walls, wherever it needed to be. Um, and I'll just give it a quick wash down, get rid of all the dirt. And then I have a, like a fire hose. Um, it's not a four inch, probably a three inch um, hose that clips onto the back of the tank. And um, we just then, we hose it down using using the pressure of the tank. And it's a great man for washing down all the, all the floors. I don't like putting a power washer too tight to the floors. Um, I know Silage is corrosive enough without without sticking a power washer on it if it didn't need it. So that'd be that done. So there'll be a video on us washing this all out um, probably in the next few days. We're planning on cutting some silage now in probably about two weeks. Today is the 12th of, of um, May. It's hard to believe it's the 12th of May. It's comical weather. You wouldn't know what time of year it actually is. Uh, but young, I should say, I was going to say a young lassie down here, but she's not a bit young. She's the oldest cow in the place, almost. There's one more cow just slightly older than her and as you see she's out in the grass because um she was having a little bit of trouble getting up in the cubicles again another set of twins um we're having a few of the year you can see there at the back she's quite heavy um she's no she's no girl um so she lost a little bit of condition silage was quite poor so i just let her out giving her a bucket of meal um a small bit of meal you don't want over overly feed now because she's by her time there, about six days now by her time. So I'm expecting her to calve um, soon enough, hopefully. And hopefully it all will go well, but she's safe enough when she's outside um, because because you just, you just don't want to take that chance. So one thing for sure is there's not much growth. It's very cold. Even this evening there now, it would literally skin you. Um, north wind hit me directly. North here, southwest behind me. Um, and it's all hitting me straight in the face here. So it's a pure north wind. It's nice to have it dry, but at the same time, we need some heat. Um, we need some rain. It's hard to know what way to say it. We don't really want rain either. We don't want a whole pile of it because uh, we're getting into that silage season now. So no one really wants rain, but I suppose if we had some heat, one thing we definitely need to get rid of, if you know how, please let me know, is frost. Uh, last night it was minus one, the night before minus two at 5 a.m. Um, I just uh, got up to actually check on the cow out in the field, that, that cow we looked at there a wee while ago and um, I knew by looking at her she was okay but everything was snow white and we have a thermometer in the house um, and it was reading minus two so that's no good. Uh, the combination this cold air and then getting that, it's not, it's not good but the calves that went out in the last video they're doing well they're in a good sheltered spot you just have to be you have to be careful about chills and things like that um on their adjustment of going out in 20 degrees the following day it was nine degrees 
<laughs> just, it's just all over the place. There's no, there doesn't seem to be any kind of a, a rhythm to the weather. So we're going down here to the Salish Fields just to have a quick look. This is the only field that's at home. I have to watch across this fence for obvious reasons. Um, this is the one here at home. This is the field that got no slurry whatsoever. As you can see this time that was actually cut. You can see it's starting to seed there now, so it is. It's just the real dry weather is making silage ground seed an awful lot quicker this year. But um, yeah, there's some crop on that now at the minute. But unfortunately the rest of the fields just aren't as good. They're not far off it, but they just aren't as good. There's a few Dawkins here as well. This is the first year we didn't spray. and um, We normally would spray the Dawkins. Um, didn't do it the year. Ground was, look, with just that dry weather, I was kind of afraid and uh, that it might stunt the grass a wee bit. So I just said it's not, it's just around here where we're standing. Down there there's nothing. Um, and the away farm, um, there's nearly no Dawkins. We've sprayed it. We've hit it hard in the past five years and we've kind of, we're really starting to notice the Dawkins now starting to disappear. They're a long, hard battle to get rid of them, but they're gone. I think they're more or less gone. Um, they're not as big an issue now. We used to top all the time. Waste the time topping them. You need to spray them. I'm glad so many of you are enjoying our videos. Um, I enjoy making them, as I said before. Uh, the channel now is at almost 9,000 subscribers, which is, I think you any of you remember at the beginning, um, I spoke about maybe getting three, 4,000 subscribers in about a year um, at best. And I said, if we could do that, I'd keep at it. Um, but I think it was September we started, um, late September, and uh, we're at 9,000 now. So thank you so much for everyone who has taken the time to watch our videos and I'm glad you are liking the stuff we were putting up. It's not now this world, but it's just a general chit chat about what we do on our, on our farm. And uh, if you enjoy that, I'm more happy to share it. Um, when we hit 10,000, it's hard even saying it, 10,000 subscribers, but when we hit 10,000 subscribers, don't know when that'll happen. Um, but at the rate we're going, it's probably gonna be in the next, sometime maybe in the next month or two, I don't know. Um, but when we do that, we'll do something special. Um, I'm not sure yet what we'll do, but it'll be something different, just to reward all of you for taking the time to like and comment and watch our videos. So this girl here is gonna roar at me in the middle of it. You go, girl. But um, yeah, just just thank you so much to everybody who, who takes that time to, to support us. Um, please, if you haven't already, subscribe, give us a like, um, comment away. I don't get to read them all straight away, but I do read them all. Um, but uh, it's a bit hard just getting around them all now because there's, there's a little bit more than there was at the beginning. Um, but it, that's a good thing. Um, but I do appreciate them all and appreciate every one of you uh, individually. And uh, until the next one, we'll keep rocking and we'll chat to you very soon.